Well, something that caught our attention today, a group of women suing Ohio's Department of Taxation because they say it's discriminatory to pay taxes on feminine products. They say there's nothing similar that men get taxed on unless, of course, they're sent to the store to grab something for their wife or girlfriend. We did a little digging on this, too, and here's a little bit more about what we're finding, too. Only a handful of states, five of them to be exact, the states in purple here, look at them here, uh, they don't tax feminine products, the ones in purple. But just last year, Canada stopped taxing them, which is turning up the pressure in other countries to do the same. Now, here in Florida, you pay tax on tampons, but not on menstrual pain uh, relievers, uh, those medicines like Midol, things like that. So to be fair, let's think about this a little bit more. What's something we can all agree on that we all use that maybe should be tax-free? What about deodorant? That's an idea. Uh, what about toothpaste or toilet paper as well? Something that we all use as well. In Florida, it's considered a cosmetic. Uh, and we do pay sales tax on that like we do with other cosmetics, uh, something to think about.